What's up? It's Christian Stone Fox Media and TGIF. So finally you get some time to maybe play some Destiny, you know, dream about Madden, you know, EA Sports. It's in the game. Well, apparently then the game is getting hacked. And uh, EA admits that 40,000 users were hacked after Whistleblower steps forward. And uh, basically this person uh, came out and exposed the fact that they got hacked and 40,000 uh, people information got stolen during some Reddit posts. And, you know, he came out there and talked about the acts of corruption in Australian games industry. And uh, he tried to tell people, but basically they didn't want to hear him because, you know, they had friends who worked at EA and they're like, can't do that. Can't mess up our buddy buddy relationship. And of course, EA came out there and made a statement, you know, in a typical EA fashion. And they came out there and said, uh, EA Fire Monkeys uh, became aware of a cyber attack on a standalone Fire Monkeys forum in September 2013. Fire Monkeys took immediate action by shutting down the forums and taking the server into question offline, preventing a pot a potential misuse. An investigation determined that a small number of customers, 40,000 is small, it's really small. And uh, those 40,000 people, you know, their email addresses were potentially obtained. But, you know, no evidence of any other form of information was being accessed, like passwords, names, and security reasons, you know, all that other good stuff. So be clear, EA systems, databases were not affected, so you guys are good to go. You can trust EA. You can. With EA, you're in good hands. Moving on from that news, uh... We all know that the whole entire Xbox and PlayStation thing is still going on and everyone's still talking about it. And yes, I still get bombarded with it all the time. People keep saying, shut up. Don't you know they still got like 29 countries to release in this month? Well, okay. Well, right now they're still getting their butt kicked and they still got a couple of times to, you know, recover from it. But basically, that might not happen. So apparently, uh, Xbox One is falling even further behind the PS4 as the sales continue to grow. And uh, the recent sales figures came out again and showed that the PlayStation 4 is going ahead and is taking the lead even uh, even this month. Uh, NPD basically came out there and reported that PlayStation sales uh, was number one hardware sales for the eighth straight consecutive month. And that remains the leader in the next generation game consoles. And, you know, they led in software sales and they led in Diablo Reaper soul sales and they led in The Last of Us. And they, they led on every single level. OK, they led on every single level. And, you know, Microsoft basically came out there and said, hey, you don't worry about it. We still got more countries to release in. Don't worry about Japan. That 20 some odd thousand consoles we sold compared to their 300,000. I mean, we thought Sony sucked. They really sucked. Like, way back in the past, sucked. But you know, you gotta give them credit. Because at least if their console is broken, they try and fix it now. I wonder who's not. So all those fanboys from the PlayStation are all like, <laughs> What are y'all laughing? Because apparently, uh, you know, PlayStation 4s have this big gigantic error on them where they keep ejecting your disc unexpectedly. Now, I thought I was losing my mind or maybe I had some kind of crazy poltergeist, but apparently I was not. My disc just kept ejecting itself for no random reason. It was just like, and I'm like, well, maybe I pressed something. Maybe I did something wrong. It wasn't me. It was the system. And uh, basically, they came out with some wonderful ways for you to go ahead and fix your system. So all you have to do is uh, press down and hold the power button until you, the system beeps twice. Then wait 30 more seconds until all the system lights are off. Unplug the power cable. Leave it alone for three minutes. And then you have to give a blood sacrifice. Kill some chickens. Beat up a Power Ranger. All these things you have to do in order to get this thing to stop ejecting your disc randomly. And if that doesn't work, then you can go into your nearest PlayStation service facility, which may or may not exist about 400, 500 miles away. And then you'll be all good. All good. And it breaks and it does stupid things like mine's did. And they say uh, all you have to do is do these little steps to make it go away. We let you go with the whole entire HDMI fiasco. But then you have this. Randomly ejecting your disc. I'm not crazy now. I know I'm not crazy. I'm crazy. But I'm not that crazy. And so um, I wish that these companies could probably do this, this one important thing. Because I remember this from the PlayStation 3. Maybe I just had like the freakiest PlayStation 3 of all time. Where you could press the eject button for the disc. And it wouldn't turn the system on. Well, you try to eject your disc on the PlayStation 4. It ejects it and it just leads the system on. Why can't people just get their disc and go? Maybe someone can fix that, maybe patch that, do something about it. We don't necessarily want it to turn on just because we ejected the disc. Just putting that out there.
Maybe you care. Maybe. Well, that's all the news I got for you guys today. Like, subscribe, follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook so you know as soon as my news becomes available. Thank you guys for watching, and I will holler at y'all later.